The IROD software, or the Integrated Rule Oriented Data System, has been designed to enable groups to assemble collections from data that's distributed around the world. So if you can get to your data via a network, then you can organize the data into a collection that you can then share. You can control the properties of the collection, the access controls, the naming, the metadata that you use to describe the contents. And it, it enables you then to build research collaborations that span institutions and can even go international in scope. One of the challenges when we build these collections is we have to describe what the collection means, what its context is. So normally when you have a local project, all the members of the project have tacit knowledge as to what's going into the collection, what the data mean, how they can be used, how they're described. When we share the data with somebody else, we have to make that tacit knowledge explicit and provide a way for the other collaborators to find and understand the data without having to call you up personally. So we do that by adding metadata to each data item. We can add descriptive metadata describing what the data set is about. We can add provenance metadata so you know where the data came from. We can add administrative metadata that we use to actually manage the environment. So you can have replicas, you can have information about who owns it, what the access controls are on the data. In addition to providing this information, which we use to implement the context, we also had to be able to support procedures, ways to manipulate the data sets. So in the IROD policy-based data management system, we use policies to control the execution of procedures, which enable us to enforce management decisions, automate administrative tasks, verify assessment criteria, all within the data grid itself. So the policies are executed at policy enforcement points within the software middleware. When you try to do some operation on your data, we trap the operation at the policy enforcement point. We then execute a procedure that you need to control some property of your collection. A standard example is when I put data into the system, I would like it to be automatically replicated automatically generate checksums so I can verify the integrity of each file, automatically extract metadata from the file that I can then record on the object. And we do that at the policy enforcement point that traps the put operation. The procedure then invokes basic mechanisms, microservices, that do each of those tasks. We store all that information away as administrative metadata back in the metadata catalog, and therefore you can, at some point in the future, go look at that administrative metadata and decide what's been done. So the data infrastructure now is managing not just data, but also information about the data and knowledge about the procedures you can run to actually manipulate the data.